is going on fight fans this is rob drill i'm just going to give you some uh some thoughts on the lucas matisse um victor post star card um well just the main event um this should be a very good fight uh you got lucas matisse from argentina um hard hitter pretty decent uh boxer pretty decent speed but he's going to be up against it because he's going to face a kind of a different kind of challenge against uh victor postal out of uh if i'm not mistaken the ukraine um postal is undefeated he's also extremely tall i think he's about um six feet tall and um that's that's pretty damn tall for the 140 pound division both of them came in at 139 both of them look good um but with matisse being so much shorter he's gonna have to get on the inside now we know he can box i think he'll be able to jab his way inside versus post all um he was a boxer versus Provodnikov, and uh he looked good the thing is, he tends to take a lot of damage in the first half of the fight against his opponents. I guess all except for uh, Lamont Peterson, where he just put his foot on the gas and decided that, hey, I'm going to win this fight. Uh, versus this one, he's going to have to take his time a little bit and jab his way in. Granted, Postal is not a hard hitter. Um, I think he only has single digits knockouts. I think it's somewhere between 9 and 11. So it's not a lot. Um, so, um, look for that. That's, I'm gonna definitely say that. Look for that. Um, but the guy can go. Um, he put his last opponent, uh, Selkirk Aydin down, which is kind of out of character for him. It is what it is. Now, what I would like to see, or what I think we're going to see, is Postal throwing a lot of uppercuts. He did the same thing with Aldean. Every time he tried to jab his way in, he would throw one, two. He had some good combinations just from the uppercuts and leading with the uh, overhand right. Well, not leading, but finishing with the overhand right. So I think that's going to be something to look out for. Um, especially if he can jab and kind of stay out of range with Matisse. Because Matisse could get to you. He has a very long, uh, straight right. But the problem with that is, is he lunges and he kind of takes himself out of position or he um, he throws the punch. He leans forward or he's reaching around to his left. So that's going to go into um, post all with that right hand or even some of those uppercuts, especially if he's having a hard time getting to him. The good thing is Lucas Matisse is uh, he has one hell of a chin. He's been he's been knocked down, but not out. But he has one hell of a chin, and at a certain point, he can turn it on um, and start getting to his opponent. I like Matisse in a close fight, um, but don't be surprised if Postal outboxes him to a win because of the fact that he can go, he has a decent chin. Um, he won't be scared of Matisse unless Matisse hits him with something that he just was not ready for. Plus, Matisse has a much better um, not a much better record because Postal is undefeated, but Postal's best wins to date are against Idine and Hank Lundy, while Matisse has fought Danny Garcia, Lamont Peterson. He's fought a who's who of 140, 140 pounders, which is going to bode well for him because he has the experience edge and the power edge. And I think he has the stamina edge as well, just because he's been put down and has turned it up. But other than that, um, I think we're going to get a great fight. Check out the undercard because I think we have a, uh, um, we just have some good fights on the undercard. Look out for several knockouts on this uh, on this card and um, let us know what you think. All right, peace. This is round one and you've already lost. They don't seem to see that everything we've done is coming and gone. My fists are on fire. I perform till I perspire. My demons are in a rage. Keep thinking that it's the game. I kick ground, hurricane. I told them I don't play. I'm liquid. Black Street Fighter. Street Fighter.